um, I want to show you today how to make your own custom brush and uh, what does this mean custom brush so make let's make a new document here so I click on new document and nothing happens oh there all of death so the problem is that I am writing new documents to an external drive and that takes a second to wake up it was still sleeping so I take a regular size document here and then I can go here to brushes there's vector brushes and then when I make a line here yeah, I have the line but if I go to brushes over here and I pick any of those brushes for example engraving this kind of thing and then I have a brush like this let's say now if I paint this then I paint with a custom brush sure I can change the pixel width here to smaller see that so that is a so-called custom brush and I'm going to show you how to make your own with your own stuff on it. And there's like here a bunch of groups and we're going to create our own group and make our own brush. So that is not very difficult. Uh, all we do is first we do a new document. <coughs> now I want a 500 by 500 pixel one. 500 by 500 72 dpi is fine for me. So this is my new um, document. Have this here in the middle and I put a black square on top of it. So we to put a square on top of it. Right now my square is white so I change the color to black. There we go. The frame I don't care about. There we see this way. You can now take this layer here and lock it that you don't move the square around to make a new layer and then in there we create our artwork we want the brush to be made of and I don't know what to pick here let's do something white it has to be white, black and white it doesn't have to be but that's how we do it so we make a shape now uh, whatever shape you want so for example, across, right? I don't know if that is something. It's not even a good cross. I mean, it's not straight or anything. There it is. And oh, I changed my color again. Let's do the color white. So it's a white cross. Um, I can change the size of it in here that's fine but I want to uh, center this thing here center in both directions like this and then I'm going to uh, basically save this as your yeah, export save this as PNG file 500 by 500 pixel the whole document export okay that goes into my uh, desktop right now and we call this, let's say, cross. And it is on the desktop now. So that's a PNG file saved on the desktop. Now we can go back to my other document, or it was this one here, where we have all our brushes, and I want to make my custom brush. All right, so we have the brush tab selected. So you can go here to swatch stroke brush. You know, that's where those groups are in here. And we make a new group. So the new group we make by going up here, and it doesn't show over here. Okay, let's see. Let's do this. Now you can see it. Okay, so we create a new category. Let's do that. Now, the new category is named brushes, right? Let's rename this category. Here, yeah, and I just call it my brushes. Isn't that great? And now we're going to make a new brush. We go in here and say new textures, textured intensity brush. That's what we name. And then we pick our just exported file here, the cross PNG file. Okay, so now it looks like this. That is a little odd, right? You can right click on it and say edit. 
and now we see here this button repeat so what that does it does repeat our little graphic on the path of the stroke and we say close and now if I use my brush here with the brush here and I paint this then I make a bunch of those crosses so for Halloween if you do some Halloween decoration thing there we go right and that's how you make your own custom brush now it has added size I think so it's 64 right so if you go down to 24 you have it here as 24 you can duplicate it and make one with 12 picks then you have two like a small and a big brush right so you can do it here click here so you basically preset what you have here right so you can make your own thing now if you say oh yeah now what about if I want red crosses right then you can go in here and pick your new color and then do the same thing in red right okay. hey. so those of kind of things can happen but that's in, and that's how you basically make your own brush you can do whatever you want uh, for artwork there and then you're good all right so I hope that helped you and I see you in my next tutorial.